the God Almighty is always speaking to us. And we, everyone, every human being is going to say some portion of truth. So I give you an example. Today, I was, I wasn't today, no, I wasn't today. But yesterday, maybe I was driving along and I'm passing a church. And the church has one of those electronic signs outside and it says, God loves you. Now, what I'm, you know, I could say to myself, oh, what sign is good? The church, the church sign, church is, I don't believe in Christianity. But one second, they're saying something that the Torah teaches us that God loves us. Now, they have a misconception about God and a misconception of who God is and, and what the church is and the replacing the children of Israel, all kinds of mis a misconception about the nature of a human being, that a human being is created by God Almighty to be a good person. They, they, they don't believe that. They believe in the person is created in original sin. All these kind of terrible ideas mixed in, but God does love us. And that sign says that God loves us. So... You, if if I think if I'm driving by this this church, or a person's driving by the church and he sees a sign that says God loves us and he feels God's love because it's reminding of something him, him of something that's true, he could think that the answer lies in the church because after all, it's the church that went to the trouble to put up the sign that says God loves us. And he's going to open the door. The pastor is going to say, you know, welcome. God loves you, and that is true that God loves him. Now, as he he's going to get confused, you know, by what how to identify God and what how to understand God, and the unity of God will be lost when he goes to the church. So, my point over here is that you can understand when something's true, it's going to resonate. But you have to always understand how is the person packaging this? Is the person packaging it that the answer lies in outside of you or the answer lies in you? The Catholic, the Christian church teaches you, she teaches that God loves you. But they tell you that they have the monopoly on the identity of God and they have the monopoly on who God is and you have to do their thing in order to have that connection to God. Torah says, no, no one has any monopoly on God. God is creating you and he's giving you life at every instant. He's giving you insight and divine guidance at every instant. There is no ritual. There's no nothing you have to do. To have that, hear that message from God Almighty. To have that connection from God Almighty. To feel that love from God Almighty. All the things that we do as, as practices are to enhance our attunement to the message of God Almighty. But it's not that you can't have a connection to God Almighty without those, those practices. Because God Almighty has created is creating you in his divine image. So you don't have to do anything or go anywhere or join any membership organization to breathe. You don't have to do anything to see. You don't have to do anything to hear God Almighty speaking to you. So this is the challenge of our time that God Almighty gives us in this world is to see where in the answer, where is the answer coming from? The answer you already know. That's why when you heard that Christian minister speaking, it sounded like it's what he was saying sounds like the truth because the truth is built into us because we are all created by God Almighty in His divine image. So the truth is the, the truth is already built into every single one of us. We all encourage each other to stay on track with that truth. But we also have to be careful and warn each other not to go astray from the real source of that truth. To go and worship an idol. 
to forget to to think that we you know that it's coming from this source or that source or whatever it is. That's what we need to encourage each other in. Because we are constantly confronted with pieces of truth that are mixed in with pieces of non-truth. So you can pick up the uh, any book. It's going to say something that's true. But it could take a person completely off track. God forbid. So same thing with what someone is preaching. So I'm not here to preach to you that I have the answers. I'm here to point to you that you have the answers because God Almighty is guiding you. The truth of the source is not from an intermediary. The truth of the source is the source that you have within you. And the truth of the person that you're learning from is the degree to which he stays focused on pointing you to the truth that you have within you. If you are listening to something, you you see something, you listen to something, it could be from any song. I mean, you could, you could, um, you could be listening to, you know, walking down the street and you hear a rap song that has terrible content. And there's one line that strikes you and like, oh, that's, that's a good point or a true point or whatever it is. Well, because you're attuned to hearing the truth, but you also have to realize that the answer is not to go listen to the rap, rap music and become a fan of that rap singer and become a rap, um, you know, into the rap culture that the part of it, at least that is fighting against God or misleaded into taking actions that are not according to God Almighty's divine and loving commandments for every single human being, you don't want to have part of that. So, so the same thing is over here. When you go into, you, if you're in a church and you hear something that resonates with you as true, your your opportunity is, or you hear your what on the watch a YouTube video, somebody sends you a YouTube video, a pastor is saying something that's true. Well, he could be saying something that's true, but he might be misattributing the truth to the wrong source. So, for example, let's say you have in the in the New Testament, they're, they're going to quote Jesus as saying something, <clears throat> and if you and whatever Jesus said is true, that is true, is already recorded by earlier prophets and in, in the and the and in the five books of Moses. And then he said things that are not correct, and his whole everything that was wrapped up around him afterwards was also not correct. So the answer doesn't lie with, with Jesus. The answer lies with the eternal truth that God Almighty has been speaking to every single human being since the beginning of, of mankind. In fact, Christianity is making the worst digression because it's it's saying you see that that man he said something true so they're going to make him into a god one second that's that's completely against what god almighty wants he doesn't want you to misattribute the to to misidentify that person as god and then fail to see that the divine is in you and fail to see that the message is coming from god almighty and has been spoken to every single human being since the beginning of time and many of them have heard Adam and many of his offspring and Noah and his sons and then and grandsons and Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and the children of Israel and 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 other great pious among the nations have heard what God Almighty is saying without mixing them their ego into the picture and trying to make a cult around themselves without trying to make themselves into gods or having letting their followers make them into gods. So that's your job. Your job is to be able to discriminate. And each one of us has to discriminate. Ah, this is a true point, but it's being delivered or misappropriated or misidentified as the source. And therefore, I have to realize that. Let me get back to the real source. The real source is directly from God Almighty. And he's speaking that to you. And Moses, our teacher, wrote down the divine words that he heard and were taught to him, told to him by God Almighty. He wrote those down. And 
the prophets that were true prophets wrote down what God Almighty said to them, or someone else wrote down what they prophesied. And, and then there were Torah sages throughout all the generations. From the times of Adam on, people who studied the divine wisdom and they went deeper and deeper into it and they had insights. And they, those insights are recorded. Many of them are recorded. I mean, a fraction of them are recorded. No one's making those people into gods. They're just examples to us of what kind of great divine wisdom comes if you're attuned to it and you're open to it.